Welcome back to Niners Nation. Uh, well, the 49ers are coming off a tough loss to the Giants, but thankfully uh, we've got a quick turnaround this week as they host the Seattle Seahawks on Thursday Night Football. 49ers are looking to bounce back against a team that really is, is coming in high thanks to their big win over the New England Patriots. We'll have some questions in a little bit for Kenneth Arthur over at Field Goals, but first I just wanted to kind of run through the three keys to the game, at least as I see them. Really, I think two of the keys are going to revolve around the rushing game for both teams. I think this is a game that, uh, with an over-under of 37 and a half, it's going to be a defensive battle in which the team that can establish the run is probably the team that's going to win this one. Uh, on the Seahawks side, of course, they've got Marshawn Lynch, uh, the man they call Beast Mode, was uh, the, before Bradshaw last week, was the first running back to rush for over 100 yards against the 49ers in over two years. Uh, the Seahawks ended up losing that game last year in December, but it was a close one, and I think a key to that really was Lynch being able to have his way, averaging over five yards a carry. So the 49ers defense is going to need to step up. Um, they've been solid this year, not quite great, but they've definitely been solid enough that they should be able to contain Marshawn Lynch, but again, we'll see. Uh, on the other side of the ball, uh, the 49ers are averaging six yards a carry on their on their end, uh, while the Seattle Seahawks are second in the NFL in allowing only 3.3 yards per carry. Needless to say, Frank Gore and Kendall Hunter are going to be pretty critical for this 49ers offense. Uh, Alex Smith is coming off a three interception day, and while I, the 49ers are not going to abandon the pass, I think it is safe to say that we will see a heavy dose of the run. Uh, they're, they're really going to test that Seattle defense, that front seven that has really been incredible. I, I, I got to give credit to Seahawks. They are building a really strong defense. Uh, not quite at the 49ers level yet, but it's definitely, uh, definitely looking sharp. Uh, the third key, I think, could be special teams. Uh, last year, uh, the 49ers won the opener thanks in large part to a pair of returns from Ted Ginn. He ran back a kickoff for a touchdown, and then he ran back a punt for a touchdown. Uh, the 49ers had the lead when that happened, but the Seahawks seemed to have some momentum on their side, seemed to really be closing in and potentially taking a lead in that season opener, but Ginn basically ended that game with his returns. This year, the 49ers are really struggling in special teams in, in most aspects of it. Uh, they're near the bottom in kick coverage, while Seattle's in the top third in kick returns. So that could prove key. Uh, you may remember against the Giants, the 49ers were down 10-3. Giants were starting the second half with the ball. 49ers were trying to get back some momentum, and they proceeded to give up a huge return to David Wilson. And while that single play did not flip the game, it did not help. So the 49ers are going to need to get their act together on special teams. Uh, they left too many points on the board. They're giving teams too many opportunities. They need to get things figured out. All right, so those are my three keys to the game. Uh, I also have a few questions about uh, the Seahawks that I'd like answered, so I thought I'd bring in Kenneth Arthur from Field Goals to get the Seahawks fan take. Uh, Kenneth, three questions for you. Feel free to answer in any order you want. What can your uh, number two rush defense do to stop the 49ers' number one rushing offense? Uh, number two, can Russell Wilson provide enough consistency in the pass game to take pressure off Lynch in the rushing game? And I guess number three, finally in 30 seconds, tell me why Seattle wins and takes over the top spot in the NFC West. Hey, David, thank you so much for having me uh, in your nation. I really, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, I think that the Seahawks are not going to have a problem stopping the San Francisco uh, rushing offense. I think that as a 49ers fan, you can understand what it's like to have the number one defense uh, and have other teams say, hey, you know, but what about our guy? You know, do you understand that, you know, he's going to run all over you? Um, and then all of a sudden, you know, who wins? The defense. It's always going to come down. If your defense is that good, it's very unlikely that any running back or running game is going to come in there and just run all over you. The Patriots probably thought they could do that, and we held them to 3.34 yards per carry, after them being a top rushing offense. So I'm not concerned about that at all. You know, all right, uh, question number two. Uh, you know, uh, Russell Wilson, I don't think we're gonna really put the onus on him to win this game. Uh, is he gonna be consistent enough? You know, Pete has shown that against a great defense, they'll be very conservative with Wilson. And the Niners have a great defense, and I fully expect that Pete Carroll and uh, the offense is going to be uh, very conservative. Uh, they're going to run the ball. They're going to try and do their thing. They're going to try and, you know, just move the chains. He might go deep probably two, three times, maybe 
you know. I mean, really it might only go deep two or three times. And if it works out, it does. But if it doesn't, you know, we're going to try and win this game uh, with our defense and special teams. So that's why I think that he's going to be consistent enough because we're not going to ask him to do a whole lot. Alex Smith-esque, if you will. Why are we going to beat the 49ers? Um, you know, I, I, I think when I look back at uh, last season, and if you look back to week one, you could tell. It was obvious. San Francisco, you know, it doesn't matter if Ted Ginn uh, took it, blew it out of the water at the end. Even if it was close before that, San Francisco was a much better team than us in week one of 2011. Take it to week 16. The Seattle Seahawks went through a lot of changes. We got rid of Aaron Curry. We got, you know, we didn't get rid of Marcus Trufant, but we replaced him with Richard Sherman. You know, we got better players now, and you could tell at the end of last season, things were starting to get closer. And I think in the off season, when you look at the changes that we made at quarterback, when you look at the changes we made in pass rushing, you know, all of a sudden, we're a much better team. So I think when you look at how close we were last season and how much we've improved since then, you know, I think that Seattle has a very good chance to win this game. Not many people believe that, but I think it's got a chip on its shoulder. You know, I think that at being the underdog is something that we uh, don't mind, and I fully expect this to be a close game that Russell Wilson is going to throw a 40-yard bomb to win at the end. No question about it. So I look forward to a good game on Thursday night, and I want you guys not to worry. You can definitely uh, escape and still make the playoffs after falling to 4-3. and three. Well, there you have it. Uh, it should be a pretty charged atmosphere at Candlestick Park on Thursday night. Uh, huge divisional matchup, huge implications. Uh, should be a great game. Uh, I'm sure you've got plenty of comments about it, so uh, drop down below with the comments. Uh, and make sure and subscribe to the Niners Nation YouTube channel. Uh, we'll likely be, likely be back after the game tomorrow night uh, with plenty of reaction. Talk to you then.